All right, guys, so I'm out here on the range today with Steve, and he had a great question. We're doing some uh, some mid-range precision rifle, but with AR styles, you know, in 5.56, and he's got a um, a mil dot reticle in a, uh, a Trigicon 1x8 optic. And the question was, Rich, how do I know without a rangefinder what my distance is, and how do I use the, the reticle um, to, to do so. And there's formulas for this and, and you can find a lot of that stuff online. We'll tell it to you. So, uh, not only for when I don't have a rangefinder though, this is also a really good skill to develop because your rangefinders, when we're looking out into wooded areas, like the stuff behind me, it doesn't always, it doesn't always work because you don't have a hard flat surface to, uh, to reflect the, the laser off of, to get a, a solid reading. So, the formula, and I can put this in the description below, if we're trying to find our distance in, in yards and we're using a mil dot uh, reticle, we'll do the height of the target in yards. So we have to get our height and convert it to yards. We'll times that by 1,000, and then we're gonna divide that by the number of mils that you measure the target in in the, in the optic. And that's gonna give us our range in yards. So in this case, we go, well, crap, man. I'm looking across the lake. Here's the lake. We're looking across the lake out there, and w what am I going to use? So something simple we could do is we have all these big pine trees behind us. So I took a tape measure, something good to have in your kit, right, when you're doing uh, long distance shooting. So all we did was we went out here and we measured one of the pine trees real quick. So the average large pine tree, an adult pine tree, I was getting at about 14 inches at about the five to six foot mark off the ground. So about head height, you know, where we can see not the base of the trunk and all the bases of the trunks are a little bit different. So about five, six feet off the ground, we're getting about 14 inches on some of the adult trees behind me. So now we're looking across the lake out to where we have a shooting bunker that I can actually get a good range on. And next to it is one of the pine trees right where the wood line starts. So Steve, why don't we go ahead and Let's go ahead and range that target. Okay. Right? So we can use 14 inches as our number. We could use maybe 13 inches, but this tree that we're looking at is, is it's a full grown tree. Um, it doesn't look as thick as some of the ones right here on the side of the road that are like really mature. So we'll do 14 inches, maybe we'll do 13 inches. And we'll do both and we'll see what we get for each and then with that we can kind of come to a consensus on what do we think the distance is and then i'll range that uh shooting uh bunker that's right next to the tree which i already know the distance to i already ranged it so we'll see what steve gets so so looking through the reticle measuring the tree yep because i know you said height before right so would it screw me up the only good read i can get is on the width of the tree and I got 1.2 mils from here. Okay, so good question. Height doesn't necessarily matter. It's whatever the length is that we're measuring. It could be the height, width, length, right? All we need to do is what is it that you're measuring and what is it converted to yards? And then we put that into formula. So if you want to measure the width, width that's fine. So 1.2 mils is essentially what I was able to read okay. on the width. So grab your calculator. Okay. So we're gonna take 1.2 mils. Okay. And now we need to make that into yards. So we're gonna take 1.2 mils. Or are we taking the no, width no, no, no. of the tree? No, 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 width of the tree. Okay. So we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna take the width of the tree. So we're gonna say, let's start with 14 inches because that's what we measured here. So 14 inches divided by 36. Okay. Gives us 0.3888. That's 0.3888 yards. Right, this is the 14 inches. We're gonna times that by 1,000. Okay. Because that's what the formula says. And we're just gonna do what the formula says. Okay. Now we're gonna divide that by your 1.2 mils that you measured the diameter of the tree or the width of the tree. Okay. And what does that give us? That gives us 324 yards. All right. So 324 yards, if that's an adult tree. It's a little bit younger. So let's just get another idea. Let's try it for 13 inches. Okay. Maybe this one's just a little bit younger, which it does look a little bit younger. It's the same height, but it doesn't look 
like it's an old, old, mature tree. That gives us 300 yards. Okay, so if we do 14 inches, it's 324. If we do the calculation with 1.2 mils at the diameter of the tree being 13 inches, that gives us 300. The actual distance to the tree with a laser rangefinder to the shooting bunker that's right next to it is 312 yards. So either way, if we went with 13 inches or 14 inches estimate on the diameter of the tree, each of those puts us within roughly 10 yards plus or minus of the tree. Within 10 yards of our distance, if we were to shoot this with a 5.56 with a 300 um, uh, for 310 yards plus or minus, that 10 yards isn't going to make us miss. We'll still be on target. So that's how we can very simply um, use the things in our environment that we see that are consistent to help us quickly range and identify our distance to the target so we can put in the correct dope or use the correct holdovers so we can get accurate shots on target. So hope that helps and we'll see you guys next week with more tips.